What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in our T800, Kenworth T800. It's our heavy haul truck. It even says heavy hauler on the back here. Um, T800, T800 day cab. It's got an Eaton Fuller 18 speed, 18 with a retarder, 231 gallons. 625 horsepower and 2,050 foot-pounds of torque. Horsepower doesn't really matter, but torque does, as you all know. So, yeah, there was nothing in, there was nothing but positive when I went to pick it up. But it is raining, so other than it raining, all right, we're going to put up that little map just for the moment. Wait, are we even... I don't think we are. Oh, yeah. Yep, we're connected. <laughs> Alright, that's... Where do we gotta go out of here? We gotta go right. Okay, cool. Building already. I'm gonna give you guys a great shot, but I'm already hitting the building. Where am I at? I'm good. All right, so we gotta go straight out of here. Look at the water coming up. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. Ever. But then again, I never do outside views. I already have a job. I need another one. Bring it out this way. So we don't hit that on the way out. I was going to get in front of this guy, but... Clear that way. A little bit on the curb, or a lot on the curb. Still on the curb. Alrighty, turn off those. I'm giving it all I got. Get off the phone, woman! Get off the phone, Kate! Do you have a bruise on you? Who hit you? It wasn't me, I swear. I did nothing of the sort. check the map real quick um, just to make sure we're not taking any windy roads okay we're on the five and then we're gonna uh, make a loop-de-loo oh, I thought it would be this way 
That should be fine. Stay on the five rather than get on this road. I thought we were going to be in this area, but we're way out. Way out of the way. All right. Have to deal with the loop-de-loo -loo once we get there. But yeah, I wanted to uh, do a heavy haul. Uh, normally I don't like to do them because, you know, like I, guys, like I tell you guys over and over again, the whole point of this game is backing up the trailer. I mean, it is fun to talk and uh, tell stories and stuff like that, but... Uh, at the end, the very point of the game, for me anyways, is backing up the trailer. Or getting it there in one piece. Um, getting it there in one piece, getting it there on time, which we haven't been doing. And backing it up. Whether we spend 5 minutes backing up or 35 minutes backing up, that's still like everything I love to do is backing up, backing up the trailer, so the speed limit is only 55 in California, so we should slow it down a little bit. That doesn't seem to be doing nothing, this, this is heavy. So I try to go with like the cat colors. Um, I couldn't find a cat skin, or I didn't want to go through the Steam Workshop and try to find a cat skin for a T-800. You can find a lot of cat skins for, um, other trucks, but not the, uh, I don't, it'd be pretty hard to find it. I don't know if it'd be pretty hard, but I'd probably have to download a mod off of, like, Share Mods, or Mods Land. I wouldn't... I probably wouldn't find one in the workshop, but I could be wrong. Um, that's something I'm going to look into after I'm done recording this. I'm going to look at getting a cat skin for this truck or something like it for the heavy haul. I'm only going to be doing heavy hauls with this truck, most likely. I'm not going to promise you anything, but that's what it's for. That's why I made it. It's got the heavy, it's got the uh, oversized load banners and the, the orange lights on top and the warning flags on the side. Do we gotta get over here? That's the point of this. What was that? Loan installment. How much are we paying a day? $22,806. How come it's not showing us our drivers? Are they not doing anything? Why did you tell me to get over and then you're just going to tell me to go back? Donkey. I was going to put um, the left and right mirror on the hood on this thing, but there were two in the way. It would be like where that 300 Chrysler, 300, uh, not 300, what is it? Uh, Mag Dodge Magnum is. Well, not now, but where it was, like right in my way. I don't like too much stuff in my way, as you guys know, when I drove, I don't know, four episodes ago or three episodes ago, and I drove the 521 or something like that, the older truck, where it had two separate windows. I don't typically like the two separate windows with the windshield wipers in the way at the same time. I could deal with two separate windows, because that's what's, I believe, in the 379 one of those trucks. It's one, it's in one of the trucks I really like. Um, but the windshield, windshield wipers also in the way. Um, that always, that bugs me. It's part of my OCD. It bugged me in real life and it bugged me just in the game. Uh, I don't know why it gets to me that much, but it does. Get off the phone, woman! Gosh! Who's on the phone? just got you back in my life. You were gone for so many episodes. I'm probably going to have to slow down. I got the cruise control on right now. Oh, he moved over. Let's see if he moves back. He's 
guys never know what they're doing. The reason why the check engine light keeps coming on is because it's basically, that's, well, it looks like a check engine light. It's basically just slowing the truck down from cruise control. So every time the truck needs to slow down, the light will pop, pop up, pop on to tell me that, or I don't know, it's a warning for me or whatever, but it's a warning for the truck. It's a warning for me to let me know that the truck is slowing down. I guess. My, my car in real life, cruise control, is, um, cruise control, if I'm going downhill, it doesn't work for nothing. If I'm going uphill, it, it'll change gears and get up pretty quickly. It's got six, it's got a six speed, um, automatic or manual, depending on which, how I want to drive. If I'm driving long distance, it'll be, uh, cruise control and it'll be automatic. Um, but, yeah, when I'm going downhill, I really gotta keep on, my keep on the brakes. Even if I put it at 50 miles an hour, and the speed limit's like 45, it'll still pick up a lot of speed. Uh, the engine brake, or whatever it is that's in the car that's helping slowing the car down. is doesn't really work as good as it does in the game. Or even with my older vehicles that I've had, the cruise control was a lot better. It doesn't really work that great in the current car that I have. So, I might have to look into that. Um, or, um, just accept it. Um, it might just be just part of the vehicle, or it could be a flaw that I've let go for about, since I've owned the car. Well. Since I started traveling in the car, which was probably around the time that I got the car. I got it because I wanted to travel long distances. 154 miles, not that much time left, but I'm only going 55. Uh, I don't know if this is an urgent delivery. So it is even, you know, with the last couple of vehicles I've had, even though we were only going like, like with the uh, Mercedes-Benz Axor, because it was in kilometers, I was mostly going like 48 to 50 miles an hour, uh, and I was just talking a lot, I wasn't really paying attention much, so I was going pretty slow, and that's, and then we got the late on that one, I, I believe it was that one, we got a late on, but if you're going anything below 50, you're not going to make it on time, so even if I had to stop and sleep, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to do it in one straight shot. If I stopped and slept for eight hours, then I'd be way overdue. I'd probably end up paying more than I did for even getting the job. Let's see here. Uh, nine hours and 17 minutes, so we're gonna make it. This one's not an urgent delivery. Great ahead. Probably take it out of gear as well. Yep. Even with cruise control on, it wouldn't hold that at all. Turn on my flashers going below 35 of the hill. I'm not going to get over for you, bud. I can't. Bit gear, 21 miles an hour. Wow. But it is pretty heavy. If we do stop by... It's not... It's not the extended, uh, it is the heavy haul DLC, but it's not the super long one where it has the actuating point way in the back. This one only has two actuating spots, but it's still heavy enough that it slows me down quite significantly. Now we're going downhill about to. So once we get above 
40 miles an hour, I can turn off my flashers. weight um, it does compensate it does go well with the steering wheel to tell me how to really I really get the feel of the steering wheel just with how heavy it is um, you know what I mean I get I feel it in the steering wheel with the weight and going around the corners I can really feel it I'm uh, getting off here Going over the bridge, we are, so I should probably just stay in the school lane. Oh, that truck is... Yeah, probably shouldn't have did that. Now I need to get over. Car accident, haven't seen that one before. That one's new, to me anyway, a car accident. I did turn them. I did turn down uh, the traffic events quite a lot because it was getting to a point where they weren't loading in quick enough. Um, so I have turned those down. Jazzy Cat has a mod out right now. I need to check the traffic pack, but I think we're good right now. But. He has a mod out for only sports cars being on, like, along with, tr like, there wouldn't be, like, Dodge Magnums and Ford F-150s and Dodge Rams and, like, that car, every, the Chevy Bolt or the, whatever that is. There wouldn't be any of those cars, it'd just be nothing but sports cars, which would be cool, but only for an episode or so, it wouldn't be cool for the entire time. That's why I kind of leave, try to leave the traffic mods to a minimum um, so that they're just regular cars that you would see every day on the road anyway. speeding. So we're getting off up here. I can turn off cruise control. We gotta do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Hey, buddy. Look at that weak horn. <laughs> just to turn off, but we are going in a circle. I thought it was going to be a loop, like a real loop de loop deal. Can't see if anybody's coming. I don't think they are. Sand, dirt, road. I don't feel it in the steering wheel, but we got enough fuel, so we're good there. A service station out here. Didn't know existed. Hey, there's the cone guy. The cone man, that's what I call him. Brakes! I turned off. I, I, I didn't turn it off, but I turned it down. I turned down braking intensity a lot. Um, nope. Yep, I hit it. I did 
I did turn it down quite a quite a lot, um, breaking intensity, because it was really high, and we were stopping on a dime. Uh, I put it in the reverse. I've done that twice in the last five, four or five episodes, which isn't a lot, but I don't want to get used to that. going again? Are we going to BH whatever it's called? BH BHP Billiton which I used to call what did I call it before? I forgot already. I called it the wrong thing for such a long time. What did the near turn? I mean the the what did I do here? Oh, hell's sake, why is the, the map turned? Fine. I'm keeping my headlights on for safety, but anytime I drive uh, in this game, I always have my headlights on for safety and whatnot. Anytime you if you've ever traveled long distances, uh, semis most of the time, long distance driving, they always have their headlights on. If they're just driving through the city, uh, not so, they don't even drive with their lights on. Not even the parking lights on, but on the highways, long distance driving, like if you're on the 8 or the 10 or the 20, the 8, the 10, 8, 10, 40, any of those, 5, they have their headlights on. Not not in the city drive, but when they have like sleepers, normally. It's when they have all the time headlights on all the time. We gotta, right now where I live, we gotta deal with a lot of uh, rock trucks. They have rock, uh, delivering rock everywhere. I don't know where it's going, but all you see is rock trucks where I live. And those are bad because a little piece will come right, a little rock will come right off and break, or, you know, start a crack in my windshield. I've already, I've had my car for almost two years, a year and a half. And I've replaced two windshields, two or three windshields, I think it's two windshields, with, uh, with those truck with rocks coming off of those trucks. And now I, I just pay a copay of like 70 bucks or 65 bucks and I get a new windshield, but I don't like to put stickers on my windshield because I know as soon as I, I mean, I don't like to put stickers really on the front windshield, but if I ever do, then, you know, I'd have to get a new one every couple days. Are we just going straight in? Is this going to be the easiest one ever? Hopefully. Let's see. Come on, straight now. That's still kind of crookedy. Get off the phone, woman! Gosh! That's pretty good. I thought from the back, from the width, from the back, it looked like they were, or from the rear view mirrors, it looked like it was crooked. But that looks pretty straight. All right, let's drop it off.
I thought this should be heavy. Excellent. 288 miles, 6 hours, 37 minutes, 62.2 gallons consumed, $24,300 and 688 XP. All right. See, it says heavy hauler in the back. These lines are, well, I don't know about the modded trucks like these ones, but the vanilla trucks, these lines are supposed to connect to the trailers now. I haven't used a vanilla truck other than the W900, but I haven't really paid attention to see if they connect. They're supposed to connect. They're in the options uh, gameplay. Um, it's in the options right here. Trailer cables. All trailers. But I have yet to see them. See, I brought this down quite, quite a lot. Uh, it was probably up here, and that's why I was able to stop on a dime. So... So yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have any of this stuff on. I've turned this down quite a lot uh, to make the jobs not as long, but they're still super long. So I don't think that this really works. Um, but yeah, let's get back to here. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, the heavy haul. If you guys want to guys want me to continue doing heavy hauls or regular trailers or smaller trailers that you have a lot more shorter trailers let me know in the comments like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later take care peace out